Hi, my name is Ashton, um, and I joined SIA because um, I had just moved in by the time I heard about SIA, and it sounded like a really fun opportunity to get to know more people in the community. Hello, uh, my name is Michaela. I joined SIA because pretty much my whole life I was searching for a free activity I could do because I was always sitting at home bored and I struggled a lot with my family and so finally I got introduced to SIA and it was an activity that I could do that I felt really accepted in and I felt really um, as if I was taken care of there. So that's why I'm here and that's why I joined. Hello, I'm Rory. Um, I joined SIA because I suffered from, well, I'm still suffering from depression and anxiety, and that's been untreated for most of my life. And I was also struggling with my identity as a transgender person. And a friend of mine had uh, told me about SIA and wanted me to join one of their teen conferences that they had. And so I did. And now I'm here, and I've been stuck with them for half a year, and it's been great. So. Um, I'm Marcelina, but I go by Nina. I'm here because um, I've been bullied for as long as I can remember, and I had to go to counseling after I tried to commit suicide. And she had heard of this thing called Trapped, and um, she had sent me there, and it was so much fun. So now I go there every day after school because I don't get bullied there and I'm accepted for being my weird self. My name is Brayden. I go to SIA because I am like a techie nerd geek type person, but the issue with that, or the thing with that is I don't filter what I say, and so about 10 minutes after meeting me, most people want to punch me. <laughs> and that happens a lot less there. My name is Kelton. I go to SIA because it's a place to belong and it gives me something to do and I get to hang out with my dad and my brothers and play pool and stuff. <laughs> so SIA was created June 11th, 2018. So pretty much what happened is a group of around 10 to 15 kids got together with a strong to de desire to create a coalition. And um, we didn't really have anything. We had no money, we had no building. We were just 10 teenagers and a few adults. That's it, and a few alumni as well. So pretty much we discussed um, what we wanted to do um, and our strong desire. So along with making or having a group, you need to have some goals. So short-term goals are you know, choosing a name and creating a logo, all that fun stuff, but mostly we wanted to make a difference and we had to apply for a 501c3 status, which is a nonprofit organization. And um, some long-term term goals is uh, develop, develop, I can talk, a strong coalition and partners, find partners and open a center. So with every organization, you need like a mission statement and this is ours. you're doing this great thing with this coalition. Now, you told me a story yesterday about the young lady who started this, uh, finding the center, mm -hmm. and how she sat in her car, and it was like, it was difficult for her yeah. to confront going in and asking, right? That's correct. But, yeah, so what happened there? How did she get the strength to do it? Did she just feel motivated for you guys? Or? She just kind of had the thought of what's the worst thing that's going to happen? If you get a no, that doesn't mean you stop, it just means you keep moving forward. And so, in her, eye, in her eyes, she just thought about it for a while, and that was the best solution. There you go. And isn't that true of almost anything, right? Well, I read and I said, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. that's, very that's true. good to keep in mind. You gotta be there to do it, right? So, I want to go one by one. Okay. I just want to like, you can just look at the camera and just okay. say your name and anything you want to anything you want to say. Okay. Cool. Uh, so I'm Rory. I am a high school senior that is a part of the Live Center and the Community Youth in Action here at my home in Idaho Falls. And I am a social justice advocate and I am kind of a voice for LGBTQ plus people. Nice. My name is Kelton. I am 13 years old. I like to go to the and hang out with my dad and play some pool and stuff. <laughs> nice. So. 
Uh, I'm Brayden Erickson. I'm a sophomore in high school. I do all the technology stuff for our group. In life, is that what you want to do, do you think? Something along those lines. And you? Uh, I'm Marcelina. Hey. Go by Nina. I want to be a foster parent, so uh, going to the center and getting to know all these kids and all the different personalities I think is good for me and becoming a foster parent. So uh, sure. that's one of the reasons I go there. We're actually talking about see a safe house. Uh, I want to kind of be a part of it. It's so when kids are being um, abused or having a tough time at home, they have a the see a safe house to go to, uh, spend the night there, and get away from all of that bad stuff. And you, young lady? Um, so I'm kind of known as a country girl. Uh, I also Show the boots. <laughs> <laughs> I love prevention work. This is what I want to go into. I want to go into um, non uh, nonprofit coalitions, that sort of thing. Uh, it's really important. What yeah. are you all about? What's your name? Uh, my name is Ashton Erickson. Um, these two are my brothers. I am hoping to go into the mental health kind of work. Good camera. Too. Have you had some younger kids come to the center that you were able to sort of guide or help, or do you have any stories like that? They all look up to me, and I they sure do seek guidance from me sometimes and just ask me for advice. Yeah. Do you guys ever come up with bright ideas like, oh, I saw this group and I, you know, I think we can help them? I think we oh, all yeah. kind of do it yeah. together. You kind yeah. of all do that? Everybody at CA, we um, kind of just... Ashton had mentioned all the, the Friday fun days and those mm -hmm. are all really fun. I'm the leader of the activities committee, so I kind of set that stuff up. Yeah. Nice. It is really fun. Be yourself always. And if it takes you some time to find yourself, and it always will, you'll always find new things about yourself. Don't be afraid. And if people don't like that, so they can leave. <laughs> they can leave. There you go. <laughs> That's Be my positive piece. in everything you do. When it mm. looks down, try to look back up. You're a great person, and no matter who says what, their judgy selves, they don't matter. It's all about you, and you're important. Somebody's, you're also really cute. <laughs> somebody's bullying you. They don't so have the right to judge you that much. They don't know your story. See ya! See ya.